And I said, I want to know something before you go. How many people will be killed? The answer, approximately 150 Iranians. Too many, said President Trump. And I didn't like it. I didn't think it was, I didn't think it was proportionate. Trump said he learned that number with only minutes to spare. Some reports say he actually knew earlier in the day and initially approved the strike. Not so, said Trump. Nothing is green-lighted until the very end because things okay. change, right? So yeah. you never gave a final no, order? No, 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 no. I don't know how imminent the strike was. Trump's decision to hold back was applauded by his Capitol Hill rivals. That amount of collateral damage would be very provocative. And I'm glad the president did not take that. We think there are many options that are not what they call kinetic, that is to say a strike on the country. The U.S. is focused on sanctions to cripple Iran's economy. But hawkish lawmakers and members of Trump's cabinet have advocated for a strike. So the concern that violence will erupt prevails. Unfortunately, we are heading towards a confrontation which is very serious for everybody in the region. What's next? President Trump says he wants direct talks with Iran, but engagement appears far off. Provocatively, Iran broadcast images of the downed drone today, accusing the U.S. of violating its airspace. And in Tehran, anti-American chants at Friday prayers, anger fueled in part by the U.S. decision to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal last year, as conflict now looms closer. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Washington.